All right, so I've got the uh, PCB design uh, almost ready to send off and have it uh, manufactured. Uh, but I want to do one final test for a couple of reasons. One, I just want to verify a, on essentially a full uh, system, uh, or nearly full. This is one team. Obviously, I'm not going to do all uh, six teams. Uh, but just a little bit beyond the breadboard setup, just to verify that everything works as I would expect it to. So I'm going to do a perp board version of this just for this one uh, plus it'll make testing this uh, easier because I want to use this again to test both the white uh, uh, scoreboard and then I'm gonna paint it and we're gonna see what it looks like uh, being black so it'll let me test that it'll let me get some of the programming out of the way uh, while I'm waiting for like the PCBs to show up and stuff like that obviously I don't want to do this for every single one of them because that would be painful the thing about PCB, uh, doing, it, doing it on a proper PCB, there's, there's several advantages, right? You're basically, you're front loading a lot of the work uh, in the time that you spend to design it, stuff like that. And plus, it lets me verify things, essentially. You spend a lot of time as you're designing, and if you've designed PCBs, you know this, but as you design the PCBs, this is sort of doing it on the fly. At least the first one, or two or whatever would be doing it sort of on the fly obviously I would have a schematic but still getting the layout and everything else and positioning of things sort of on the fly and you can create a lot of issues for yourself by doing it that way where piece designing the PCB uh, forces you to plan things out plan the layout plan the physical size of the board so that I know that it fits between here I can then take that board into fusion and if I need to make some sort of holder or standoffs or whatever uh, I can I, and then when you get the PCB just taking none of these are going to fit in here but just taking the uh, the components and then essentially just dropping them in and soldering them on you know that's nearly error free once you've you know verified obviously that the PCB itself the design is okay and you don't need that bodge anything or, or redo any traces on it or anything like that then it's just a matter, it's, it's Lego at that point, right? It's just dropping in the components, soldering it on, and you're done.